Hare Krishna, and welcome to part two of Madanga Highlights. Madanga Highlights is again the series where I teach kind of in, in a random order. There's many, many advanced topics that I'd like to teach, but wouldn't be able to get to if I followed the strict progression of the basic of the basic class. Today I'm going to teach you a new kind of really advanced, uh, well, not really advanced, but it's definitely not for a beginner. This mantra is actually quite popular, especially um, especially nowadays in ISKCON and in other places, and it's got a lot of press. And this mantra is a little bit tricky. I'm just going to play it for you, and you might recognize it. that famous Da Dene Nak Dene Dene Nak mantra, which has been popularized by the Mayapuris in their music videos and in their album. This is kind of not even, this is not really a Kirtan mantra. It can be used in Kirtan if you know where to place it, but it's more like a practice or demonstration mantra. And so I thought I would teach you how to play this because there's a lot that you can learn from it if you take the time and go very uh, step by step very closely. So let's start with the mantra itself. Let's say the whole entire mantra. Da dene nak dene dene nak dene dene da dene dene da dene dene da dene da dene ta dene nak dene dene nak dene dene ta dene dene da dene dene da dene da dene. You may want to rewind that and write it down because it's a very long mantra, and it's very particular in how you play it. The mantra is not onomatopoeic, which means that the the strokes that you say do not necessarily sound like the strokes that you play. It's just how it is. It's one of those traditional mantras that's been written a long time ago and hasn't changed in a while. So we're going to go through step by step. Let's start with Da Dene Nak. All right? Da Dene Nak. Now this part sounds like this. Sorry. Okay. Da Dene Nak. So Nak here is the Probably one of the hardest strokes to play if you have not already learned Nuck. Nuck is a stroke where you play with your index finger on the corner of the of the of the drum of the drum head here. It's called the kinara and it's hit a lot like a tabla. So usually I play it with you need you need to hit it, strike it very hard, and you need to hit it hard with the index finger and have an anchor finger. So Usually the anchor finger is the ring finger, but I like to use the middle finger as the anchor finger. The anchor finger kind of puts a little, little, very slight pressure on the head while the other finger hits it hard. So it's, it's different from a ti or a ta. Here's a ta, and here's a ti, and here's a nak. It's a very piercing sound. So, da de ne nak. So the da is played like da, and then te is played with the right uh, index finger closed and gay. So it's closed like this. Da, te, and then ti is the same as ne here. Da, te, ne, ne. So it's, it's hard over here on this side. So the, this, uh, I'll just play the right side. Da, da, te, ne, ne. So it goes like this, center hit, center hit, and then knock, and they're all closed. Da, da, so you got to practice that a little bit because that's here all over the place. Okay, so da, de, ne, knock, we've just practiced. Practice it until you can get it perfect. Of course, you have to differentiate the hit of nuk from the hit of this re or closed closed index finger hit. So this is different from this. Okay? 
And then the se- the next part of it is Dene Dene Nak. Da Dene Nak. Dene Dene Nak. So Dene Dene is just. So it's De with the index finger, T, and then De with the index finger, T again. Da Dene Nak. Dene Dene Nak. Then the next part is Da Dene Nak. Dene Dene Nak. And then Dene Dene. Okay? Mess that up. Let's try it again. Okay. So there's two knocks in there. Okay. Ta dene nak dene dene nak dene dene. Then here comes. Okay. So that was the first. Quarter of this month, da dene nak dene dene nak dene dene, and then the, this is the weird, this is the weird uh, quarter of it. Actually, this this quarter and then this last quarter is weird. The mantra says the way it's written, da dene dene da dene dene da dene da dene. Now in this line, wherever you see a da, you have to mentally replace that with a nak because we say da, but in this case, all the das are naks. So it sounds like this: da dene dene da dene. Okay. So I said da dene dene da dene, but I played nak dene dene nak dene. Okay. Da dene dene da dene. So that's how it goes like that. So let's break this down again: da dene dene da dene. So I'm playing it like this. Da is played as nak. Dene. So it, and now I'm playing de as a da. Okay. Like this. Nak den. Okay. Nak den. And then ne is played as just a a t but open, like that. You strike it with your uh, your. Uh, Middle and ring finger. So you see what's playing here? Nuck, nuck, ah, and then an open T like that. So the mantra goes Da Dene Dene Da Dene. Again, Da Dene Dene Da Dene. So it's just the same as before, but now it's all open. Okay. So so we went da dene nak dene dene nak dene dene da dene dene da dene dene da dene da dene. So it's just you've got to memorize this. Memorize the sequence how it goes. Da dene dene da dene dene da dene da dene. Remember to substitute in nuck wherever you see a da in that second half. Nuck dene dene, nuck dene dene, nuck dene, nuck dene. Da dene dene, da dene dene, da dene, da dene, da. Now here, da is, okay, da is here, but I also play K, so it's more like a ka. Da, da, dene, nuck, dene, dene, nuck, okay? Okay, here all the little hits like uh, ne and re are open. So it's ta, so ta, te ne nak. Actually, it's not all open, so ta, te ne nak, te ne, te ne nak. So <clears throat> ta and ke are played together as ta. Ta, and then te ne is index finger and then the rest of the fingers. Ta, te ne. So on the right side, it's like this. Now, if you're playing it fast, you might play it open. Like that. Which is okay. It's not very crucial to have it strictly closed. But if you can, it's better. 
So here again, instead of gays, you're playing Ks. That's the only difference between this quarter and the first quarter. So follow the same instruction for the first half that you did with gays. Instead, you play Ks now. Okay. Da is ta tene nak tene tene nak tene tene. Here the nuts are spelled out. Ta tene nak tene tene nak tene tene. And then the last quarter is ta tene tene ta tene tene ta tene ta tene. Where the ta's are actually nuts here. Nak tene tene nak tene tene. So it's ta tene tene ta tene tene ta tene. Ta is a nuk. Te is k and open ta. Practice this combination right here. This is really important in this moment. Okay. This is a good practice mantra because it really gets you strong on playing nuks. So this mantra, the second half goes. Ta tene nak tene tene nak tene tene ta tene tene ta tene tene ta tene ta tene. So it's so once you get that, I know it's very complex, but once you get that going quickly, you'll be able to get the hang of it. So let's play the whole mantra all in just the entire cycle. Now, typically it's played with a few unspoken decorations, and I'm going to show you what they are right now. So, so we like to double up gays when in certain cases. So here it's da denena ge denena. So like this. So it's da denena ge denena. And it's done again in the second cycle. So. So with that slight decoration, I'm going to play the neck the entire cycle. Now there's another s simple decoration that you can put, which is to play a little guru guru at the end. So I'm going to show you how it, how it goes. It's usually during the K half or the second half. So you see what I did there? So it's uh, it's like a kuru kuru. So, kuru kuru. <clears throat> so uh, I'm playing it K and ta together, and then T. So K ta K ta. So if you can play it very fast, that's how it's done. That's that's how I'm doing it. It's a little uh, 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 little accessory that's usually placed in this mantra, but they're not usually spoken. The spoken mantra is still da dene nak dene dene nak dene dene. So 
you can practice this playing faster and faster. So I just thought I'd show you this little demonstration mantra, but it's actually very helpful if you want to learn how to play knucks and get strong in the hand so you can play them constantly. It requires a lot of wrist rotation if you're if you're hitting it strongly. So this mantra can help you to develop those skills. I hope this is a cool little introduction to demo mantras. Please join me next time. Hare Krishna.